six months later, came through that little hole there from a graveyard field station on the Mountains to Sea Trail. October the 5th, 2019. Today, our goal is to hike 10.3 miles. We'll end today's hike at a campsite in the Nantahala National Forest. Tomorrow, we'll start at that spot at the uh, campsite in Nantahala, and we'll hike about 12 and a half miles to the Lick Log Gap Overlook. Today, our hike starts here in the Middle Prong Wilderness, and we're wasting no time. We're gonna go straight to a creek crossing here. As you can see, we're packed for a full night here in the woods. So this will be our um, second overnight hike on the trail. I've somehow been able to do day hikes the whole time. But now that we are so close to the end and we have to drive so many miles, we try to get a little bit more. Water, check. Clothing, check. Compass, checkish. Flashlight, check. Cell phone. We have that too. And we have the InReach Explorer. Any impressions of the first half mile? <laughs> Not, yet. Not yet. Working on it. Mysterious. Amber alert. Well. pretty up here in the mountains very nice reminiscent of cattail peak mst the first directional sign that we've seen which confirms we are going the correct direction we're approaching the three mile mark and uh we've been gaining elevation just slightly the whole time to start and now we're starting to lose elevation probably all the way back down to the parkway we are definitely in bear country up here in the middle prong wilderness. Um, we were just hiking along downhill and we heard a bear in the woods for the second time in the past three weeks. Got the bear spray in my hand just in case we need it. The last time was a grizz. This time it's a black bear. They're grizzly bears in North Carolina. Pretty stream water source. I hope we're not going to the hill. I think we're going to the left here. That's probably where the bear went. Have a blaze we have left the middle prong wilderness kena thank you for pointing out the blaze here it's beautiful through this section perfect day too it was in the 90s in the elkin valley yesterday but today we're looking at low 60s dropped a little bit just like that now we're entering the pisgah national forest again so on this hike we'll have been in the Middle Prong Wilderness, Blue Ridge Parkway, Pisgah Wilderness, and the Nantahala Wilderness before it's all said and done. So we're getting to see a lot of things. Another thing we're getting to see out here is signs of fall. Leaves on the ground and some changes of leaves in the sky. This is a first. We have bear hair here on the Mountains to Sea Trail. 
lady took a picture of it. So uh, maybe that's not bear hair. I mean, what else hair would that be? A Sasquatch. Oh. The elusive Sasquatch here of the Blue Ridge Mountains. I'm sorry, of the Pisgah. Wow. Yeah, that's a first. <laughs> you ever seen bear hair? What, like what happened there? Somebody cut it, you know, like, hey man, we give you a trim, you're looking a little bit rough. It could just be like, uh, heck, I don't know. Anyhow, we're gonna be setting up our tent here in a few minutes. <laughs> It's the same kind of weather too, just a little more wet then. Took us forever. That was a 22 mile day, yeah. And this is a 22 mile hike, but just a little bit different. So Kina, tell us about this uh, place you've set up here to cook this evening. <laughs> Kina pulled all this stuff out of her uh, ULA own backpack. Got some chairs we can sit in out here. It's a temporary shelter, going out for food, we'll return shortly. Well, we're staying up there either way. <laughs> Hope they don't plan on putting the horses up there. So um, tonight you're eating lasagna, right? with meat sauce. I have tried several different backpack meals, but I keep coming back to just a simple mountain house lasagna. This stuff is delicious. I love it. This is two and a half servings. Should get us ready for tomorrow. Kina, are you enjoying it? Uh, you're, you're a great cook. Kina cooked both of these here in her camp kitchen. She boiled water. That's right. It's amazing just how much skill she's got to make these wonderful meals here on the mountains to sea trail. It's a rainy, dark morning here at the campsite, 10 point, uh, three miles in. We camped up there and we came down here to retrieve all the cooked stuff, a bear canister for our hike out. And uh, we were leaving no trace that we were here. Whether you're hiking or whether you're camping, leave no trace. Leave it exactly like it looked when you came in, if not better. Today we have 12.5 miles, mostly uphill, to uh, Lick Log Gap Overlook. Refreshed after a great night's sleep. The guide says there's a camping area at 10.7. Well, it's not really 10.7, I think it's 30.7. And uh, that's where we stayed last night. But if you keep going past that, just less than a tenth of a mile, there's a better place on the left. Plus, as you can see from the video, uh, somebody has set up shop there and left a note they're coming right back. It's probably been there for months. We're almost three miles in. Haven't been videotaping very much this morning because it's uh, just been uphill. So this is basically what the trail has looked like so far. So we have blazes here in the Nantahala National Forest. There were blazes in the Level Gorge Wilderness, Wilson Creek Wilderness, Blue Ridge Parkway, Pisgah Wilderness, the whole Grandfather District, but not the Middle Prong Wilderness. There were no blazes and there were several trails that turned off of the main trail. The main trail being what I would call the MST. So I don't really understand uh, why they can't have blazes in Middle Prong, but I've preloaded uh, the app from the MST website to my InReach Explorer. So whenever I came to an intersection, 
I was able to look at that map and see where I was going. getting closer to a section that they say is the toughest terrain to navigate on the mountains to sea trail about to find out what that's all about descending pretty quickly here probably another uh, quarter of a mile away from that section that they uh, have listed as, as uh, one of the most challenging I think is the way it says we have found our section one mile I wonder if it means one for the next one mile ahead Starting to think about food. Burgers. Soda. French fries. Milkshake. The trail has become a little more narrow and there's really no issues walking this trail right through here. A little steep down here, not too bad. You know, hanging the switchbacks here. Just for reference, I believe the hazardous trail refers to uh, it's a narrow trail, it's a little cliffy, but really it's not that bad. Just watch where you're going, and you'll be okay. take a picture of that here we go we're on the Blue Ridge Parkway MPS boundary so this is probably the uh, spur trail to the parking area on the parkway Okay, so we did an overnight trip up here from Middle Prong Wilderness to Licklog Gap. 24 miles in 24 hours. So uh, even though we did an overnight, we still completed it all within a 24 hour time period. And the next time we're here on the Mountains to Sea Trail. Thanks for watching. Peace out.